a puppy dog music montage to start the day, huh, Maverick? Psst. Maverick. Maverick. I see your tail doing a little bitty wag. Maverick. It's not actually the start to the day. We've done a lot today. So Priscilla left without me this morning to take Abby to school. I stayed home. I uh, got a lot of work done. I got some editing done. Uh, then Priscilla went to lunch with a friend, right? Okay. She did. She's been working hard all day too, though. She uh, has been on the phone nonstop, driving all around town, getting things lined up for concessions uh, for the football game. I did get a little cleaning around the house done, did some vacuuming. Now, to be honest, I pushed a button. The robot did the vacuuming, and, and I, I made a sandwich for lunch. It was tasty. Now, we're at Sam's Club, because we gotta fill up for concessions. This is gonna be a huge order. All the things you can't eat anymore. Sometimes vlogging in public is still weird. Yeah. The lady was, I was all cheesing on the way out because the lady was grinning at us and like, stand, like looking at us like, what are you doing at the customer service? And because I had the camera set up, I said, oh, we have a, we have a, oh, we're falling. I said, oh, we have a YouTube channel. She's like, she said, whatever. <laughs> Like what kind of response? Isn't it funny? Like you know what YouTube is, and like I know what YouTube is, and like we all watch YouTube. Some people have no clue. Like they don't. I mean, they may know it exists, but that's it. It's their whole world. It's funny. They don't even know it's out there. It's just funny. Oh, you're falling again. It's funny the different things ha people have in life and what they, what their world consists of and what so, it doesn't. Um, totally off topic, but I you just got like a full view of me. So if you guys want to know, I got this from Lane Bryant because y'all always ask oh. <laughs> where I get my clothes. <laughs> Everything is from Lane Bryant. I kind of feel like that was like, an, oh, they can see my dress moment. So I mean, it was. Uh. I, I'm feeling cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to see a you're, waist. You're looking cute. So Look I at like you. that. Yeah. Do you want me to do some fancy B-roll of no, you? No, I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> Keep loading the car. Okay. Dang. If the concession stand is as successful as it was last year. We need to like put it, get a trailer to tow by in the car. Holy cow! Okay, so you see Priscilla in 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 cool drip. What do the kids say? Something like that. All the time, right? All the time. She's always wearing some new threads. Oh, that's way that's way old. But Priscilla has some tips and tricks tricks for you because she shops at Lane Bryant. It's where she gets. Every time you guys ask, where did you get this? It's Lane, Bryant. Lane Bryant. That's an eighty dollar dress. And you got it for how much? Fourteen dollars. So if you buy stuff, what did you say out of season? You out told of me. Season. So like right now, they're having their clearance items are fifty percent off. So they're already clearance, and they're fifty percent off. And a lot of times you'll find the coupons online that say like twenty five off of seventy five, fifty off of one hundred and fifty. And sometimes the girls in the store will tell you, no, those don't work. Always have them scan them because. They do work. Like you can stack those coupons. So you order something online, go to pick it up in the score store. I was doing that. Now that we don't live as close to Lane Bryant, I just have it shipped to the house. So I wait until they have free shipping as well. What if it doesn't fit? Cheap. You can either take it back to the store or you can just contact Lane Bryant. And they'll... So she pays like six bucks for a blouse. And... Yeah. So I just ordered like, well, I ordered another bathing suit because. We have a pool and okay, let's be honest. You, because you bought two bathing suits and you're losing weight so fast, you didn't wear the other one, so now it's too big. Yeah, and you've worn big. it once. Yeah. So um, I bought another bathing suit and it was 50% off plus another 25 off of 75. And I added a cover up because we have a cruise coming up anyway. Like, I try to think, plan ahead. <laughs> and so you're gonna I weigh bought, like 40 pounds by the time we go on the cruise. I bought this dress and I bought another dress and two cover ups and a bathing suit, and I spent less than a hundred dollars at Lane Bryant. Wow, that's like four hundred dollars worth of clothes. No joke. Like, everybody always comments, Oh, Lane Bryant's too expensive. Yeah, don't ever buy it when it first comes out, or if you do, use a coupon with it. Like, even sometimes if I really like a blouse and I want it right then, I'm never gonna not use a coupon. So what she's saying is, you don't need that fresh drip as soon as it comes out. You can buy that old drip. Yeah, like they were like, oh, end of 
end of season. I'm like, end of season? Like, I live in Florida. So that's a, kind of the cool thing about buying online. Yeah. Is they have more options sometimes. There you go. There's your shopping tips of the day. I don't know what I'm going to do if I ever get out of Lake Bryant. Nice work, partner. Thanks. You too. You make good tea. We just restocked this entire place. Check this out. This was empty. Restocked it. Still have to put the, the, we'll do those tomorrow. We're coming up here to set up all that food down there, all this food up here, all that there, and then a freezer full of dogs and burgers. Killed it. Now we're late, gotta go. Got Abby's open house. There is a 17 minute Banana. slowdown ahead of us, Priscilla. Banana. You you need I'm to get us to fire. school on time. I'm on fire. So I worry about banana. I'm just saying, I'm driving in banana in. <laughs> Don't be mad, cause I got four. That's actually who usually wins is the driver. Yeah. So we're paying attention to the road we made it so this is from 5 30 to 7 30. Yeah. you're going to hi and uh we're late for the beginning but priscilla's mom is here so she'll fill us in on anything we missed we do want to see what she's doing so far this year and what she, and the rest of what she's gonna do come on lipstick mama we're finally home we and we get to see our kids oh, no. hi kiddo Hi. So excited about your classroom. So year. excited. So I got to tell you guys about a few things. I took a few notes because I know there are so many teachers out there that that love getting information like this. Um, you know, when when you get to see like Abby's classroom. So one thing that really struck me was her teacher said that she gets the question, "Will they ever?" Like when they're practicing skills in class, like, "Well, will they ever?" do this or will they ever actually do that? And her answer is eventually, because we get that question a lot from you guys, you know, in the, in the comment section, like, like, you know, why do you do that? Do you think she'll ever actually be able to do that on her own? And the answer that we give is, well, eventually, yeah, hopefully that's the goal, right? So this kind of shows you what their curriculum looks like, which is, which is just awesome. So they're actually gonna be practicing skills in the classroom that they'll be able to utilize in the workplace. So I love that. You are an ice tray filling machine over there. Yeah. Look at you go. No ice maker in, in the fridge. It's huge, but no ice maker. No. Like they couldn't fit it or something. No help. Hey, no help needed. Just fill an ice cube trays. You wanna learn that skill? <laughs> so no. she has four goals for her classroom. No. Um, transitions, <laughs> attentiveness, task completion, and behavior. And the type of behavior that she told us she was talking about was like for barriers, behavior that would lead to barriers in the community, you know? And, and I love how she said this because we talk about like suppressing stems and stuff like that here on the channel a lot, like with the yelling thing, right? And, and she wants the children to be children, but there are still some behaviors that limit access to, to the world for them, to society, to certain situations. There are certain behaviors that aren't appropriate in certain situations. And so one of their goals is to teach that. I love that. Yeah. Wasn't that cool? Too. And then lastly, they're going to do two community outings uh, per month, which is really cool. I, I love that. So one of them will be like work related as far as going out and, and using the skills they, they've learned in the classroom and applying that to like a work type situation. What was the other outing? Um, they're going to like go and help like in the food pantry. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, and like the Lutheran services. And then they're also doing once a week, every Friday, they'll go to dailies and learn how to purchase things. Yes. So Abby's going to get a little debit card, which we talked about before when we did, um, when we did the, in the in doc at Abby's school. Uh, so they have little, little workstations set up and each one of them has a different purpose. You know, like one of them is for practicing at the food pantry with loading, loading baskets and buckets up. Um, another one was for, you know, counting change and uh, learning how, you know, what different money values were, um, hanging up clothes, you know, so that's the type of life skill tasks that, that they learn in that classroom. And it's just awesome. You know, the, like the money counting, that's, that's what you would consider functional academics. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm really, really excited about this school year. I love her teacher so much. She is so amazing. Full of energy. Yeah. And she's excited. She has a daughter on the spectrum who's older, so she knows. Like she lives the same life we live. Right. Um. So I think that adds a lot of value to her. What's up? You don't need a snack, sweetheart. You've already eaten everything. And they're like, Abby is so sassy. 
Yeah. You are so sassy. Did you know that? That's what your teachers told us today. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. did you see the chilling mm -hmm. room? So they get to go in there by themselves. In the chilling room? Minutes. Yeah. No minutes. Time. That's awesome. Yeah. That chair over in the corner, that is Abby, uh, Priscilla's grandmother's old chair. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little rough around the edges. It's been used by a lot of kids, but. And then you have your college <laughs> dorm to practice <laughs> in at school, don't you? It's a very dormish setup. Yeah. And it's not necessarily preparing them for college, but it's like, you know, solo living type of right. scenarios, making your own bed and hanging clothes up and doing those kinds of activities. <laughs> Hey, I am so excited about your school year. I am excited. Are you excited about it? She you're comes, not eating. She's sleeping are, really are well. Are you excited? You are? Yeah, I think, yeah, you're sleeping well because you work so hard in class, huh? She's like, I keep them going. We keep busy. We are busy, busy people. Speaking of Lane Bryant sales, what is this? Believe in your dreams. Priscilla, you have become one of those ladies. <laughs> you, are, you are a sayings on the shirt lady now. So... So. We talked a little bit today. You're still doing things. I am. <laughs> Far from done. You're a busy person. You enjoy being busy. I enjoy being busy, but I just messed up. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Ugh, I'm gonna get emotional. Yeah, she just took on too much. And that's, I mean, you know, of all mistakes to make, that's not a terrible thing to make. You know? Like... It kind of sucks when you're like, well, we're doing this for Ab, you know, we have everything in her school, and then we're doing this for Isaiah, like volunteering at his school, and it's like, then you don't see your kids all day, you know what I mean? And uh, and I know the open house is different, obviously, but it just, it's it's tough. You want to do all the things and help everybody, and, well, and that's not just even Priscilla's that. I mean, personality. It's not even that, like... I was literally told if I didn't take over Booster Club, there would be no Booster Club. I know, and you feel personally responsible for yeah, that. Yeah, like, I mean, it's my son's senior year. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's just who you are, you know? And sometimes we make mistakes, you know? But it's, it's, it is what it is, and, and we'll make the best of it, and it's going to be an awesome year. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I got you back. Thanks. We're going to do it. Okay. okay, and I'm not gonna complain about it. Okay, you heard it right here. I complain about it all I the just, time. It makes me more it, stressed. It just it just wears you down. It does. And it's so much pressure on you. You know, she's a doer. Ugh. I call her Helium Hannon because it's a joke, but she's a doer. She just she does so much. You're still supposed to record a video tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I don't look cute. I think you look cute. Well, I don't look cute enough to be all over Lime Life. <laughs> I can edit the video. Like, oh, she must really like the skincare. <laughs> It'll be okay. Yep, it will. It's going to be a good year. The problem is, always, with this kind of thing, right when we get in a groove and right when we get things, like, squared away, by that time, it's over. Yeah. You know what? We're all done for the day. We're going to go get pajamas on, and we're going to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go to bed. Okay? We are. We're gonna put on pajamas and go to bed. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Mm. You have a new pair of pajamas? <gasps> Yay. Pajamas. Pajama Let's see your pajamas. <laughs> bed, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go to bed. How cute bed. are these? Yeah, bed. Look at those pajama pants. <laughs> what? Mm. You need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> okay, let's go to the bathroom and go to bed. In bed, yeah. Bathroom and bed. Girl, you got your whole afternoon, your whole evening planned out, don't you? Look at you. Say bye. You gotta say bye first. Don't be rude. Okay, close it out. I know some of you have said go to Torrid. I'm not a fan. Like, I just haven't found anything. Everything makes me look hookerish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Um, it just doesn't work for me. I don't mind. Shut up. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but you know. I'm glad y'all look cute and toward stuff. I just can't make it look cute. We got a bunch of hooker looking girls running around that watch our, our channel. Is that what's going on? Uh, 